Hi everyone, John here, and this is the last bear bender. This is my take on a tone bender Mark II circuit. Um, several changes. One of the major ones is that um, in place of the first germanium transistor, I've used a Fetzer valve, which is uh, Runoff Groove's basic building block for their FET based overdrives. That's a pretty major change. I've also flipped the polarity so it's running on negative polarity. Obviously, I'm not fitting a battery in this little tiny case. I added a base cut control after the first stage, which is some, just something I like to do on a lot of my fuzzes. Helps keep things from oversaturating when you're using humbuckers. Um, most of the other changes are just general um, protection things like polarity protection, more power filtering and um, a temperature stabilization diode for the second transistor. In this particular build, I decided to use a low-gain silicon for the third um, transistor. I, I didn't really have to do that, but I just, I just liked the sound of it when I was, when I was messing around with stuff. Um, I'm on the lead channel with my amp here, low volume setting so it's not distorting. Tone isn't rolled off too much, and the mids are at zero, so it's a nice flat frequency response. I'm going to start off with the bear bender with the gain at noon. The base control is at 9 o'clock, which is just about the stock tone bender Mark II setting. It will get um, a little more saturation um, at, at zero on that control. The volume control is just below noon, which will keep it from being uh, too much louder than the bypassed sound. I'm on the bridge in the middle of the strat, and here is the bypass.
just a little bit now and roll up the bass control. This is all the way up and loses a lot of volume so I'll put the volume up to about one o'clock here. This is bass at uh, 2 o'clock. just starts saturating more. You don't really get get more bass, and um, it, it, it that does that does come across as a little bit weird when I'm just playing by myself. But um, if I run it through like a mix, like if I record something on the loop pedal, or um, if I put a backing track on the piano here, um, it it does help. Um, it does help make sure that the fuzz is still cutting even when it's more saturated. So, um, I did consider, I did consider changing the output cap at the, at the end of the pedal so that, um, so that it let through all of the bass frequencies, but, um, in the end I decided that it was more important to me to keep the stock tone bender's, um, frequency response when the bass cut knob was in the stock setting. So that's why I didn't make that change. Um, otherwise, there are some lower gain settings on this. I, I'm not totally thrilled about, about any of the settings with the attack below like 10 o'clock, but um, they are a little bit darker, a little bit smoother. Um, I mean, like the distortion itself is ragged, but the, the actual tone of the pedal come, it becomes a little bit softer. Um, when the tone, when the gain's rolled way down. So. This is a minimum gain. This is about uh, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock when the gain. So it brightens up. It brightens up quite a bit, pretty pretty quickly. Um, I did use a reverse taper pop there, so that's um, that's not too surprising. So I hope you've enjoyed this pedal. If you um, if you're interested, I've posted the um, the layout and the etch mask on the forums. I will redraw the schematic as soon as I possibly can, but it's not too different, and I've described the changes in in pretty um, pretty deep detail. Uh, the layout that I've posted, and it's also on my website in the downloadable perf library, the layout has, um, is designed so that you can build a stock tone vendor on the same topology. It just, um, you just leave out a couple um, components or, or add a few jumpers, and you can go straight back to, um, to a classic tone vendor. But with, with the addition of, if you want to use the temperature protection diode, it's there, um, it's got better power filtering. Um, otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this particular build of it. Um, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of my demos, and thanks for watching.